bloody fantastic. Hello everyone, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to a video on why Chen certainly was OP in the pro scene, why he got nerfed, and will we see him making waves at TI-8. So Chen at the international uh, qualifying stage certainly had easily for uh, the frequency that he was played one of the best win rates in the game. Strike that, the best win rate in the game with a 70% win rate despite being played in 27 matches. So this is very good. Obviously you get freak 100% win rates with certain heroes like Meepo for example but when they're only played once or twice and win that makes your stats completely ridiculous but in terms of meaningful play Chen got out of control. He went crazy. So, question number one, I suppose, is what does Chen do and why is he so freaking OP? Certainly, and I must stress this in the pro scene. So Chen's abilities, penitence, and test of faith are all well and good, doing, you know, annoying things to your enemies. But actually, the thing that makes him properly broken is Holy Persuasion. Holy Persuasion allows to take control of, it, uh, of an enemy or a neutral creep. And if he has ags, you can do it on target ancient creeps, which is even more scary. But that is, of course, capped at three, depending on... Uh, maximum level of hand of god so one per hand of god level basically so this is this is really 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 ridiculous if you think about what it does it is a permanent control they don't run out over time or anything like that they stay until someone kills them uh your ult his ultimate ability hand of god also heals his creeps this is this, so just you, you you kind of see where i'm going with this one so think about neutral creeps that are fairly tanky not that easy to remove dish out quite a bit of damage and what do they do Two have lockdown. One has an AoE stun, the other one has a targeted stun, and summons skeletons. Another one, two do AoE damage, one close range, one long range. Uh, although it's in a line, so it's not super easy to target. Uh, so, with that in mind, it gives you a really good idea of what to be afraid of. Another one just has general passive health regen, which is not that great. But, but nonetheless, you think about all the neutral creeps and what they can do, that's pretty scary. So level five with three levels of holy persuasion, that's three creeps. So if you get one that can net, the next one that can stomp, another one that does AoE damage, think about how scary that is if you can micro the hero. Lock him down, lock him down again, kill him. And with any help of your teammates, it's effective. It's like, literally, it's like drafting three heroes to help you kill people. In the laning phase, this is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. In the early to mid game, this is also bonkers because then you push. You've just locked down two enemy targets, beating them to death. And then you go, cool, well, I've got a massive iron with me. What should we do? Oh, I know. Let's take the tower. Take the tower. Then they can't farm effectively. Game over. Or is it? Uh. So Chen is pretty insane. Hand of God is also pretty insane if you think about the massive AoE save that that has. And also, of course, the buff furthermore on his creeps. But the big reason why he is particularly crazy, crazy good is because of that holy persuasion push potential. And so Chen can easily buy himself clear ways fast. He can also take siege creeps with him. Now, he did get a little nerf recently where you can't teleport them to him anymore. So he'd get four siege creeps, hide them in the jungle somewhere, and then insta-teleport them with him and then destroy the enemy base in, like, seconds because that's just silly. So they obviously nerfed that, which is a shame because I thought it was fun. But, you know, it was being abused in the pro scene too much. Everyone's getting tilted by it. So once again, Chen, a bit like Io, although Io's an even worse time, got nerfed. Um, in that respect. But nonetheless, you can still siege them. So you still can come with a giant army of siege creeps. It's just your approach is going to be a bit slower or you have to walk with them at the same time, you know, whatever. So you've got that going on. So your push potential is really absurd. I mean, literally it's absurd. And also you take away the enemy's push potential by stealing their creeps off them. It's, it's silly. It's just silly. So he will take down towers fast. And that's kind of the meta summed up is you really, really, really want to be finishing the game in under 30 minutes. Uh, that is just good practice, but in the pro scene particularly, that's what you want to do. You don't want to be stalling to late game so they can have super broken carries that destroy you. Also, Chan is completely useless late game. Falls apart, no good. But push-wise, he is silly. Very, very silly. And that's why he's so good. And also, this is why he's very, very generally average across the meta. He has a 40% win rate. He's a bad hero for you to play in pubs, particularly if you're low skill. And here is why. You have to micro control those heroes and micro control at that scale. Cycling through your units, activating abilities, timing them in the right sequence is, well, hard for the average Dota player. Uh, and so, therefore, he has this really bad win rate. But if you can do that, if you intensively practice and micro like crazy, suddenly Chen becomes absurd. 
So that's pretty much why it's hard to play. I mean, yes, fine. Um, low skill games go on longer, which means Chen becomes more and more useless. I mean, you know, like I don't want to say he's totally useless, but he is pretty useless if the game goes super late. So there is, you know, that kind of problem. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Let's move on to why they nerfed him, or more probably what they nerfed him, and then, you know, why the impact it had. So if you look at the recent cooldown patches, 7.12 is when the Holy Persuasion can no longer target allied lane creeps to teleport them. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, but then he had some nice little buffs for Hand of God, for his strength, because that really ruined him, you know. Uh, but then he got nerfed. 7.15 intelligent drops. And then 7.18, or TI, T.18, TI8, Holy Persuasion, unsurprisingly, really got kicked in. So there's a teleport delay. Oh, yes. I forgot to mention tele uh, you can use Holy Persuasion to either bring creeps to you or send people back to base. It's really quite wonderful. So they increased the teleport delay from 6543 to just 6 on every level. So saving heroes becomes much, much harder, particularly when they're in a tight spot. Ugh. Kind of makes it useless because three seconds is like, cool. Oh, it's gone out of control. Activate. And just when they're about to kill, you're in base. It's an, it's an insane save play. With six seconds, it's like, ah, oh, mate, you are, you are going to struggle. You're going to struggle. They reduced the cast range from 900 to 600. That That's kind of more annoying. But also, if you think about it, puts him into a lot more danger. So it's the saving ability from it that makes it pretty insane. And then finally, increase the cooldown. From 10 at each level to 32, 24, 18, and 10. So this is more to stop you abusing, or the rate at which you're stealing creeps um, is somewhat reduced. Also, if you then steal a creep and then try and save somebody, for example, you've got a longer delay. So it's just really, really annoying. It, but it was more, I think the emphasis was more on um, the save ability of, of Chen as opposed to the fundamental push ability don't get me wrong the increased cooldown is really really annoying for holy persuasion but actually in the grand scheme of things he's just way less effective at saving people which is kind of the one good thing that was about him as he scaled into the mid to late game so that that really kicks him this is a hard nerf by the way this is not like oh they introduced the agility gain from 2.1 to 2.0 ah, no one cares you know this that was a savage nerf almost as savage as the io nerf which was just uh just poor io is now crying in a corner somewhere <laughs> So finally, I suppose the big question about Chen is where'll he, where will he where will he be seen? Will he be seen in TI8? And will he see lots of competitive play? Honest answer, obviously, is maybe, because you know I don't, but I would speculate wildly that we probably will see him in TI8. Um he's still reasonably effective in the sense that of course once he maxes out let holy persuasion to the max level at 10 that's no problem and it just it's just the horrific save ability that that really ruins his nice effectiveness in the mid to late game but if you think about fundamentally what he does which is push super hard as a chen army ruins team fights makes things really annoying harasses you in the lane phase shutting down cores destroying towers he still does all that and that makes chen good that makes him really good. That makes him game-breaking, possibly, good. So, I think it's highly likely we'll see him. I think we we'll, he probably won't be picked quite as frequently. I still think he'll maintain quite a good win rate because fundamentally he's doing what he's doing. I think I'll be interested to see how pro players play around the increased teleport delay and reduced cast range um, with Chen. I think that's kind of annoying. Obviously, that level 10 talent tree plus 200 cast range becomes a lot more relevant. But of course, it was plus 200 on 900 cast range, which was really quite lovely. 1100 cast range is, is beautiful. Um, but he still fundamentally does what he does. Um, but of course, he will be, a, I would say, a more of a situational pick. Because remember, stuff like AoE completely trashes Chen in a crazy way. And if you blow up his Chen army and they're in your base, he is useless. So do bear that in mind. And for those of you who are like like low skill, my advice with Chen is don't play him. <laughs> it's a great way to lose a lot of MMR quite quickly. But here's the silver lining caveat positive 
thing. Um, if you spend a lot of time intensively playing Chen, starting unranked, and start to master the micro controls on your keyboard, you will be a formidable asset to your team. So uh, do look out for that. And remember, take advantage of him. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like, subscribe, and share. And of course, please feedback videos you'd like for me to do in the comments below. Goodbye.